Hello everyone, back to tune into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather. There's 10 14 dates for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 8th of February. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us towards the end of February. I'll get to my back for you in a moment. Just say that first video is there, episode 9 of Strat Watch. So check that one out. Like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. So show everyone. For a dear map because or weather this. Thank you. <coughs> you so much uh, everywhere. You can probably hear that I'm still coughing. I am being quite a lot better than uh, I was like a couple of days ago. Um, oh, thank you so much for all your lovely messages of concern and kindness and advice and tips about what I can take to boost the immune system. So, um, uh, you know, I'm having treatment from uh, from the doctors. I've had blood tests. They've found a couple of abnormalities, which explains why I'm picking up one thing after another this winter. Um, so, uh, you know, they're, they're on it. I'm on it. And hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll start feeling a bit better. Uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone. Uh, right, okay, just saying no live stream tonight. Uh, still coughing and whatnot, but uh, hopefully, you know, the lives will be back very soon. Thank you so much, everyone. <clears throat> Hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. <coughs> right, okay, we're going to start off with the latest wind map from Earth, from nostrol.net, showing that we've got an area of low pressure just to the south of the country, bringing a little bit of rain into uh, southern counties. Low pressure is in the Atlantic. However, heights are starting to rise to uh, the east and to the north, so that trend will continue into February. Do, do, do. More about that later. Sexual temperature is currently sitting at 3.3. Uh, That's half a degree below the 61 to 1990 average. It would be short to yesterday to the 28th of uh, January. <coughs> Um, that is at 1.3 degrees below the uh, 91 to 20 average. So compared to the modern average, it is still over a degree colder than normal, half a degree colder than the uh, 61 to 1990 average, the old and cold temperature average. Well, these are the GFS of red temperature <coughs> and precipitation ensembles over the next couple of weeks in London today, the red line. It's the third year of the air temperature average in London, starting off around a bit below average at the moment. We will get a little bit of a tick up as pressure builds through the weekend to the start of next week, and then possibly going colder through the uh, first week into the second week of February. Do you have a have a cooling, colding, a colder train there? I think we might do. So uh, potentially winds going into the east and colder air could be coming in from the east later next week. More about that again, say, later in the video. Precipitation-wise, we are now out of the deluge period. <coughs> It's not completely going to be completely dry, but a lot drier than it has been. And even into the second week of February, uh, we see, um, it's not overly assessed, there are some precipitation spikes there, but not uh, overly so. Temperature anomalies in the one to five day time frame are coming out around to a little bit below average. And in the six to ten day <coughs> time frame, temperature anomalies are actually coming out more significantly colder than average. Not just for the UK, well, for England, Wales in particular, but uh, much of uh, France, Low Country, Germany as well. So uh, that is very indicative of an easterly flow getting going there. Precipitation anomalies in the one to seven day to seven day time frame uh, coming out drier than normal, and in the four to ten day time frame, frame still coming out drier than normal as well. So a much drier sort of uh, week to ten days to come, but potentially turning colder. Okay, let's start going through chart data then. <coughs> <coughs> So sorry once more everyone, starting off with the UK Met Euro run, got a ridge of high pressure there, building through western and also northern parts of Europe. Low pressure comes in from off the Atlantic through the UK, could bring some rain to the north and the west, but high pressure is generally in the ascendancy into the early part of next week. That gets us to the middle of next week, notice heights are building. To the northeast, we've got another ridge out to the southwest. The idea, I think, through the second half of next week will be to ridge that high pressure up to the Scandinavian high, which is basically uh, a ridge from the Siberian high up here, and to bring wind around from the east. Let's have a look at ICOM again. We've got a ridge through the country on Saturday, uh, going up to Scandinavia. <coughs> 
on Sunday. Uh, still with high pressure bringing risk of frost and fog through Monday to Tuesday. Uh, there's that reach to the southwest on Wednesday. And again, the idea will be if we can reach that uh, in that direction and then pull the wind around to the east. That gets us to the 5th of February. The KMA looks like this. So again, we've got high pressure building through the north and the west of Europe through the early part of uh, next week. And then reinforced by that next ridge from the southwest going to Scandinavia bringing the wind around to the east and then uh, we find layer pressure coming in from off a bit of a battle taking place actually as we get towards the 10th of february with low pressure to the west and high pressure to the east that keeps a high pressure more or less <coughs> in the ascendancy and probably keeps it cold up to the 10th of february and of course as that um low pressure comes up against the block um Depending on how cold the uh, low level air is, there would be risk of uh, some snow as the battle takes place. So, um, all looking quite interesting about the KMA. Uh, right, GFS Midnight Run has a high pressure building through the north and west Europe, reaching up to Scandinavia at the weekend. Into uh, next week, low pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic, but not successfully doing so. That's it's Thursday, 6th of February. I mean, that is uh, quite a chart, isn't it? We've got a 1,060 millibar <coughs> area of high pressure over uh, Russia, which is basically the Siberian high, extending a ridge into Scandinavia. And then we've got the high pressure also ridging from the Atlantic into that as well so heights really building uh through the north and the west of europe and the upshot is that uh, by friday the 7th of february we have actually managed to turn the wind around to the east it's not particularly cold easterly that's the only thing but nevertheless let's get the block in place and see where we go from there well low pressure starts coming back into the atlantic briefly the second week of february but then the heights build again to the north and to the north east so that's the 12th of february We're a long way out now but still looking very blocked to the north of the east and even if this doesn't deliver much of way of snow which it probably won't up to that point <coughs> It could well bring uh, a lot of overnight frost, and so we could have quite a cold sort of first half of February on our hands rather unexpectedly here. Bit of a hint by the end of GFS midnight, but we're starting to take that high pressure and retrograde it towards Greenland because that's much too far away to take seriously. And they've got GFS 6 said, all much of a muchness through the weekend, a ridge going up towards Scandinavia, low pressure out in the Atlantic. So early next week we bring the uh, wind in from off the Atlantic, won't be particularly cold, but then heights start building over and to the north and to the north of the country. The second half of next week looking very blocked there. Again, 1065 millibars Siberian high originally into Scandinavia, bringing wind around to an easterly as well. Once again, it's not particularly cold it could bring some snow flows to southern and eastern parts of the country and then lower pressure starts coming up against that blocking area of high pressure we start setting up uh, a battle which is like the irresistible force meeting the immovable object here uh, with high pressure to the northeast low pressure to the west and to the southwest again you know it's a long way out there could be funny down with this depending on how much cold air we uh, uh, we establish with that uh, blocking area of high pressure as the set up at the end of GFS 6 run on Valentine's Day. <coughs> so sorry everyone, if you're enjoying the video, please can you like, share, cost and all, can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Weather Vince and get them to subscribe to so everyone uh, for doing that. We only need to put on around 45 subscribers to get ourselves to 19.5k. Uh, so if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much everyone. Okay, GM, and we've got high pressure building through the north and west of Europe through the weekend. Uh, into next week, heights are really pushing up Scandinavia to that uh, Russian high as well. Uh, and we get through the days 9 and 10, and in line with the other model output, 
you know, you have the high pressure taking over to the north east. That's a setup at day 10, blocking area of high pressure to the north east, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Looking quite cold at that point. I mean, it's not a big means, but it does look quite cold. And again, as the low pressure tries to get in from the Atlantic, there are possibilities of something winchy taking place. And then the ECM uh, looks like that to round it all off. So once again, uh, we've got the heights building over and to the north and the east of the country through the weekend and into next week. By the end of next week, we've got a proper area of high pressure over Scandinavia, back into Russia. Winds are coming in from an easterly direction. Uh, and then we'll start bringing the lower pressure up against that blocking area of high pressure uh, in the more extended range. That's how we look with today's <coughs> ECM run. And uh, that gets to the 13th February. I have to say that looks pretty blocked. So high pressure looks like it's ridging towards ice and Greenland. Low pressure out to the south and the west and bring the wind in. Uh, from the east so again that looks like it's uh, developing into a cold spell not just a cold snap but a cold spell and a potentially quite a cold first half to february there this is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometro.com. Uh, we've got rain in the south at the moment otherwise quite a bit dry weather another band of rain coming south these was at the end of the week uh, and then rain fizzing out to the north and the west over the weekend as high pressure builds close to the country. Um, get through the day 10, we're into those easterly winds then. They're pretty dry easterly, it's up to a uh, day 10. Uh, these have got some table within the ECM <coughs> ensemble today for day 10. The Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 8th of February. 30 members of the East Devil Ensemble, including the control and the operational run with high pressure over Scandinavia. And we bring the wind in from the east there uh, with that. And then we've got 21 with high pressure a bit further southwards. So, uh, again, all the options look high pressure dominated, just be at that position, but slightly different. That will probably bring, bring frost and fog, and this is more definitively wintry, although not especially snowing, most likely. And then, in two in time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 13th of February. 27 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure bed in the Atlantic and bringing in an Atlantic flow. And 24, including the chart, the operational run, keeping the blocking going and ridging it towards Greenland, low pressure to the south. And so that looks pretty cold, even up <coughs> to the middle of February. CFS B2 final lead means a 500 millibar height and I was breaking down into winter periods. The first week period takes us from the 29th of January to the 4th of February. And the next week has low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure up towards Scandinavia. And we bring the wind in from more of an easterly direction. <coughs> 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 Sorry, sorry, everyone better get this wrapped up. Week 2 is the 5th through to the 11th of February. High pressure then from Scandinavia back into Russia. Uh, and bringing in the wind from quite a long way east there. Uh, so that could be, you know, really quite cold actually. And very different to what the CFS was showing just a couple of days ago, I have to say. Uh, week 3 is the 12th to the 18th of February. Low pressure's out to the west. High pressure beginning to retreat towards the north east. So that's a battleground UK type scenario. And of course, depending on how cold the air is, that low pressure comes up against that. There could be wintry possibilities, at least initially. <coughs> and then finally, week four is the 19th to the 25th of February. High pressure still there to the uh, east and south, low pressure out to the north and west, probably bringing up a milder southerly flow, but that wouldn't take much of an adjustment at all to get wind back in from uh, the east. So all of a sudden, this is starting to look potentially like it could be quite a cold February, I have to say, based on the synoptic pattern. Of course, the model will continue to go for generally mild weather, as it always does. Uh, so week one, temperature 9 is 29 January, <coughs> 4th of February. A little bit milder than average. Week two does look colder, though. Um, we're just on the periphery of it, but look how cold it is over uh, across much of Europe. So those of you watching on the continent, watch out. You uh, could be plunging the freezer there, uh, 5th through to the 11th of February. Week three, obviously going to be milder with the model and see the cold air retreating across Europe as well. 
and uh, week four looks relatively mild also for 19th, 25th of February. Again, I'll be cautious about that based on the synoptic setup though, but CFS is shifting its ideas. That is very different for week two compared to what the CFS was showing only a couple of days ago. Um, so, uh, obviously, it will place it on the other side of a ridge as quick as it can, but let's wait and see where things go. Anyway, all in all, looking very, very interesting as we're moving into February, and we could well have a return of uh, significantly cold weather on our hands through the first half of February. We will keep you updated. Uh, Gals weather means a bit of a turn up for the books today. Well, that's it uh, for today's uh, 10 to 14 day. Thanks so much, everyone for uh, tuning in um, and we'll do it all over again tomorrow please like, share and subscribe don't forget to tell your friends, your family, your neighbour, your doctor, your vicar etc 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 to subscribe and thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that for us right tomorrow well, we'll definitely have a 10 to 14 there whether there's a 6 then broadcast see how I feel uh, this evening I say no live stream uh, this week would have been doing miss as like live stream but I've done it as an upload today you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and we'll have more tomorrow but for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching.